Recently, we just heard the names of the seiyus or voice actresses of the girls in Liela of Love Lies Superstar. Well, I went and researched a bit for each one of these girls to figure out more about who they are, what work they've done previously, and what they sound like. But before we do that, let's go over who is voiced by whom. For Sumire, we have Peito and Naomi. For Koko, we have Liu. For Kano, we have Date Sayuri. For Chisato, we have Misaki Nako. And for Ren, we have Ayoma Nagisa. So let's start with the open audition girls. Before we hit that, let's explain what the open auditions were and why I have like no info on these girls. The open auditions were held in order to branch out and get more girls a chance to become a part of the Love Life franchise. Anyone could attend an audition and get a chance, assuming you follow the following requirements. Applicants must be females residing in Japan. You have to be between 15 and 22 as of April 1st of 2020. Applicants cannot be contracted with a recording or talented agency. Must be willing to live in the Tokyo area or willing to relocate. Must be able to be fine with video recording during the audition process. And if you are a minor, who, especially with a younger age group, you should get permission from your parents or legal guardians. And you have to be unmarried. So there is a slew of restrictions but assuming if you followed all of those then you could go ahead and apply and potentially become a love life say you love life really hires girls who are very experienced in the voice acting industry with nijigaku being a bit of an exception so many of these girls have very little known of them publicly but they have been doing it since the beginning though allowing anyone to get a chance as long as they fit the requirements is something new so when looking at the two girls who came from the auditions there really isn't much online. So first up, let's hit the seiyuu for Kanon Shibuya. So Kanon Shibuya is voiced by Date Sayuri. She was born in the Miyagi Prefecture on September 30th of 2002. She is 150 centimeters tall. Her hobby is singing and she just created her Twitter account. And she already has a lot of followers, so that's about it all I have for her though. The person who voices Ren, we have is Ayoma Nagisa. And she was born in Tokyo on May 16th of 1998. She's 155 centimeters tall and she likes playing with small birds and watching musicals. She's talented in classical ballet. Otherwise, her Twitter card is pretty new as well. And I guess she bought jewelry. I guess that's what she put in on her account. So honestly, there isn't much to go on these two girls since there really isn't much online for that. So let's go ahead and jump to some of the girls who actually have more information on them. So let's first go over Misaki Nako who voices Chisato. She was born on March 8 in the Hyogo Prefecture, with the year nor her height being officially listed. According to this image show, we can guess she's about 156 centimeters or so. Her agency is Holy Peak, and that's where you can find some of her sample voices. So I'll go ahead and play some. No, all of these will be voiced by her despite them being in different pitches. So I'll just give you a little sample of all the ones that they have. <laughs> いい<笑> Her Twitter is pretty new and she hasn't really had any other work that I could find beyond this. She said she enjoys making sweets, eating ramen, cutting paper into I assume like art, and she's also talented in dancing. Next up we get to Liu and this is where we get things to really pick up. So Liu voices Koko Tang and Koko Tang courses from Shanghai, China. Liu just happens to be exactly that. She's from Shanghai, China and she was born on January 9th, 1997. Hello, hello. She is 167 hello. centimeters tall and she is known for cosplaying dating back to a little bit before 2016. She of course speaks Chinese very well and you'll see it in some of the videos. But of course she also knows Japanese as well. In 2019, she sang the song Polaris, which is an image song for Siren in Dragalia Lost. Her 
Her solo career began in 2020 as she has sung her first single, Magic Words. The song was also used as the opening theme in Hatena Illusion. Her second single, Karupe Diemu, was used as the ending theme for I Am Standing on a Million Lives. She loves cosplaying a lot and she posts about it all the time. Her Twitter and YouTube is just flooded with that. So if you're interested in stuff like that, she is definitely very talented in singing. She's got some pretty decent songs and she loves to cosplay which definitely relates to a lot of us out there. Last but not least, we have the seiyu for Sumire which is Peyton Naomi. She was born on July 1st of 2003 in the Saitama Prefecture. She is 158 centimeters tall and she's almost 20 years younger than the oldest main love life seiyu Yoshino Nanjo who was born in 1984. She is currently the youngest seiyu as of right now for love life. She speaks English and she has a history of cheerleading. She is a part of Baton Relay as Kyoko Takahashi. You can hear some of her sample voices here and you can hear her sing some of the songs from the Baton Relay on the YouTube channel. So here's a few of their songs. In October 2017, she joined the Idol ING, or so Idoling, which was active until December of 2019. And there are two MVs that I found for her, so let's go ahead and take a look at those MVs. Beyond that, here are just some other photos I found from looking at her Twitter, so I figured, sure, why not, I'll throw them in here. But overall, she has some good experience, which is nice to see. So let me know what you guys think about all of these girls that are coming to Vieta. What do you think? Who's your favorite? And what do you think of their voices so far? It might not necessarily be the voice that they're going to be using when they voice them, because they are definitely capable of changing their pitches up and down, especially as you've seen some of those samples. But some of them do have some singing experience. Now all of them technically probably do already have some, but we get to actually see them have some professional experience with releasing some songs. So it's really great to see that we are going to get some potentially very good songs from all these girls. So let me know what you guys think about these girls. And if you want to see fuller versions of some of the videos, of course, I'll give you a link in the description. If you want to learn more about these girls, I'll give you some other links that I used when making this video. So again, let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think about the girls? What do you think about the seiyus? What do you think they could bring to the table? And how is this going to shape the future of Love Live? We have so much to more to know about these girls. And of course, eventually we will get their first single, which I'm really excited to 
eventually get to see and of course hear. And I'm just really excited to learn more about these girls, which will happen in January in 2021. So 2021 should be the year of Liela and potentially the year we should get the anime. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.